Welcome to the live stream. We are in Helena, Montana. We're in the midst of getting a load. We're actually at the shipper. I got to get turned around. Uh, we've got, well, I'll let everybody else introduce themselves, but of course, I am Boomer Gamer. Hello, everybody. Hi. This, oh, this sorry, is Wolf. Well. I'm, I'm glad to uh, be your, one of your hosts today. Go ahead, Bucks. Yeah, I'm the Bucks, the driver of the Gamer, and uh, we're ready for some uh, good fun times today in Montana with our first stop, like I believe Boomer said, we're going to Thompson Falls, carrying some drive through. I'm going to check out some of the sites in Thompson Falls over there. And we'll continue the uh, exploration of Montana. And of course, we also have Pilot Road with us. What's All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome aboard there, Pilot Bro. Thank you, College, one of our Discord, Discord regulars and uh, loyal fan. <laughs> we'll see you. We appreciate it very much. Uh, it helps us out with moderating on the uh, YouTube channels. Pilot Bro, where is your trailer at? Is it over by Wolf? My trailer is right behind Wolf, yes. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get myself unstuck here. You can start cutting it, you'll miss me now. Maybe you should pull out first, Wolf. Okay, I can do that. Get a release park break for the move. <laughs> yeah. Funny how that works. It is. Pilot bro, am I in your way? I uh, guess you are. You're you're actually right where my trailer is. Okay. Sorry. No worries. My bad. I will pull out onto the street. So we were trying to get these trailers hooked up before we went live. We didn't quite make it, and then I made a mess of things. Trying to get out of the way, I made a bigger I got in the way. Hey, Anastash, welcome to the stream. And you're Peter. Hey, Peter. Uh, who's going to leave today? Well, you want that honor, Boomer? Or uh, that be me? Hey, Dennis. I'll go ahead and pull up since I actually got no room to or get behind Wolf. To, or do we want to give uh, Pilot since he's on the honor since he's on his virgin uh, run? on the stream with us. There's an idea. I'll pull over up here on the other side of the tracks. Yeah, I'm good no matter what uh, my position is, whether it's leading, following, or in the rocking chair. <laughs> How about a pilot you up for leading the, the run? Uh, sure. All right. Just on the, the spot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we do that. <laughs> Welcome, Tetra. Welcome, Dennis. Um, Trucker. That's a good thing that you're in front of me, then. Trucker King <laughs> is in the house, as well as hey. Tetra. And Dennis Nicosi. So te Tetra called out your rocket pop truck. Uh-huh. Rock the rocket. <sighs> I guess I'll 
go second there. Boomer, you want to be third or last? I'll go third. All right. I've been last plenty of times. Didn't look at was where our road was going. Uh huh. Now you're stopped on the tracks. You better hope a train doesn't come. Well, I'm not stopped. I'm just rolling through on. Oh man. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even see you. It's gonna be a straight shot up. Uh, down 15 to 90. And off at 135. Yeah. Cool. You can move now. That's actually the road I needed. I needed that section of road. Oh. Yeah, Trucker King even said make pilot lead. <laughs> Y'all may notice I still don't have my shifter on the screen because once again I want to save screen real estate for this for the Montana scenery. Who's making a left hand turn between me and Boomer when uh, uh, coming up to that right and they just turned right across in front of me. They didn't I, care that I was there. I just had one do that too. Go straight. They're still not as bad as Euro Truck. Uh, I do not believe Pilot is streaming there, um, Trucker King. I believe it's only me, Boomer, and Wolf that are actually streaming today. Welcome uh, to the yeah, live stream, there. JJ Man. Hey, Trucker King. Welcome to the stream. JJ Man is watching. And getting ready to deliver in Tacoma, Washington. Ooh, good thing this car stopped. I need to do something real quick. I need to adjust my uh, Discord audio. Did you disable that button? The mute, I mean. No, I um, I had turned the volume for Discord down a little bit, but it's too low, so I couldn't hear you over the engine. <laughs> right. Hey, Tetra, welcome to the stream. Trucker King, and for everyone else, uh, we are headed to Thompson Falls from Helena. Lights change into red. You can blame me for that. I got a red light. I mean, I got a ticket. Uh, yeah, I got caught. I got caught at a previous light. Oh, I thought you were behind me at the left turn light. I forgot to get a coffee while I was parked there. Light. Oh, everybody stopped. And this one's red again. Sorry. Are we waiting for Wolf? We're slow rolling. Okay. Waiting for Wolf. Uh, uh. And Wolf just disconnected. 
All right. It looks like I'm gonna have to reconnect. My that, uh, internet's playing up a little on me. That red light ticket, that was $700, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. Internet decided to take a short little break on me. I think I'm back. See if I can get back in. Says you're connected. Yep, just reconnected and back in. And of course, naturally, I missed the turn light. like streams back up sorry about that folks my internet occasionally does like to uh, take a pause on me for some stupid reason I know gamer saludos welcome where are you from Welcome, Deepak. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Cano Gamer Puerto Rican. I can't pronounce that. Where, what country is that? Puerto Rico. Awesome. Well, I can see Bucks is reading messages. Say hey everyone, uh, we've got uh, Deepak from India in the chat on my channel, as well as a new visitor that I'm aware of, uh, Kano Gamer from Puerto Rico. Uh, hello, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Okay, Wilkes, okay. running up my butt. All right, you yeah. can uh, resume speed there, uh, pilot. And on my screen, I just had a car go in the opposite direction. It suddenly decided to uh, go flying, do some aerobatics. Oh, it's got one of those new flying cars, huh? Awesome. Yeah. It's doing acrobatics while it was flying. That's the funny thing. Well, it goes with that boat car. Someone posted a picture of. Slow truck on the right, but we're exiting at the next exit. Thank you. 
Give us a moment to catch up. We got behind a slow truck. I'm not far behind. Yeah, Tetra, that was a funny scene to see that car go flying. We're good. Bang two. 65 okay. is good. I'm green. Right, got a green light. Green. Red. Uh, figures. Yeah, let's slow her down to 55. Uh, maybe even 50 based on how many trucks are in there. Yeah, go down to 50. I'm at 50. Stopping for oh, uh, pi, I was almost, I was about to kiss pilot. All right. Around and all of a sudden, I looked out and I saw pilot right. I was almost on his butt. But probably my fault. <laughs> Should I go a little faster? Well, it's 50. No, we're still, yeah, keep it at 50. Until uh, Wolf catches up. Yeah, I'm just now pulling out the scale. chance to tell you all this but I had a uh, interesting situation at work uh, on Wednesday as you know I work for a uh, national retailer and I got a uh, got word from my manager that somebody had contacted customer service concerning me 99% of the time that's a bad thing this was actually an email that was praising the service that I gave. Nice. Like, wow, that was unexpected. <laughs> One grumpy old guy to another, probably, huh? Well, it was uh, actually a female that oh. sent the email. Uh huh. You know the fact that I probably the only one there that knows anything at all about uh, uh, performance uh, parts in the diesel world probably helps. We can pick it up to sixty. Oh, nice! Very cool, NS. Uh, Boomer, uh, NS is a. Uh new subscriber on your channel. Awesome. It's NS-9 Fan 2022. And hello NH. Uh, that's Nicholas, isn't it? Yep, that's Nick. Yep. That's what I thought. He's over on my channel as well. Boom, uh, Bucks, pick it up to 60. Roger that. Or actually, we could probably go 65 now. Um... 
I don't see books. No, 60, because we'll still a bit back. Right. And I was going to say, you're in sight. Not right on anybody's tail or anything yet. There's a couple of cars. I see a couple of trucks behind me, and then I see you back a ways behind that other double. to mute is working out pretty well so far. Yeah, as long as you remember to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> or so, unmute your mic like I do, you know. <laughs> right. <I do. laughs> well, um, I, I think you must have muted yourself in, or whatever because you didn't hear me uh, mention that we're moving up to 60 the first time. Oh, yeah. I was probably, uh, I probably had you toggled off while I was uh, addressing the audience. That's yeah. the only drawback. That's the only drawback. Are you muting or deafening? I'm deafening. Uh, deafening. It's a toggle. Do you have to, you hit whatever button you map it to, you hit it once to toggle deafen, which also mutes your mic. Then you have to hit it again once you're done talking to your audience. Well, that's what we have to do anyway. But if you oh, want to just... You want to block out everybody else. Okay. Right, so we're not talking over each other while we're addressing our audience. Yeah, we can address them uh, in, a, in a more fashionable, real-time. Right. You can pick it up to 65 now. Roger that. Going to 65. Hitting max cruising speed. <laughs> oh, nice. And that's, uh, does he uh, subscribe to you too, Wolf? Yes, I see that I might. Uh, chat and I had already uh so thank you. Yeah. Nice. We appreciate that NS. Thank you. Yes we do. wondering if, if muting would work better because you mute your your mic but then you can still hear each other if you need to hear call outs I can't yeah there's no there's no option to just no there is an option to mic. do that but I can't I I can't talk and listen to someone at the same time like I used to be able yeah. to when I was younger Yes, and the audience would hear everybody along with whoever was trying to talk yeah. straight to the right. audience. So it's just so, a garbled mess. Gotcha. So we helped it to go this way on the chance that we might miss something from a you know a call out, but at least the audience can hear us better. Learn something new every day. I'm just going to do a drive by, but we're going into a curve. right <laughs> oh they say except in the game where you can just reload yeah load a save we are going to be exiting right at the no not sorry I'm too early nope I missed it dang it I need to make my GPS bigger. I'm sorry, I missed the exit, guys. Well, Wolf and I got it. Or I got it anyway. I hopefully Wolf followed me. Yes, I did.
this tree. Nice rocky uh, outcroppings. Oh, cool. Broken tree in the river. Hang on oh, a second, sorry. Wolf. Oh, I have got to get a copy before I go any farther. And there is no option. Exit 16 we're getting off at. And, um... Yeah, that's the option. And I'm not in position for it. There is a rest area. It. Yep, there I see it. There is a coffee stop. Uh, um... Pilot. Yeah. Uh, well, if I'm going to go there. Take a right and head to the coffee thing. Oh, but. Looks up. Are you... gonna get coffee, but you can, you can keep going straight and he'll just ca catch up. Okay. Where were you two? Well, where, 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 yeah, where, 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 I missed the exit, so we had to oh. cut back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a no-go zone there, Boomer. Okay, how about that? I didn't, I didn't realize we missed the turn, I was just cruising. <laughs> I was like, why were you turning? Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you got me. That guy just doesn't get a clue. No, he doesn't. Now he's backing up. <laughs> As long as I'm turned this way. Yeah, you're clear of him on the uh, tail. Uh, you know, I'm not going to give you enough room to get turned around before you hit that, uh, that barrier behind you. I don't think there is one. Yes, there is. You're about to find out. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I've gotten myself in quite the pickle here. Yeah, there's an invisible barrier just uh, even with a stop like uh, stop sign. Uh, white mark on the road. Oops. Exit right on 33. Uh, everybody behind me? Yeah, I got a whole line of traffic. I, I can't even back up to give you more room to go between the. Oh, well, cool. hopefully that pickup truck will move as soon as I pull up. Or I'll start dragging him along. Well. I guess I get the Swifty Award today. I'll catch up to you guys. I'm just going to continue on this way since it's a bit of a spectacle to try to get turned around. Uh-huh. Did you need a coffee too? No, I failed to re-enable fatigue before uh, the stream after the other day's stream when we had it turned off. Right, maybe I should have just turned mine off. Instead of jumping through all these hoops. Oh, this is Haugen. This is that silver dollar bar. Wolf, you ever stop at this place? Uh, no, I don't think I did. It's pretty neat. Nice looking road going up through here.
Jeez, I'm like, who's blowing their horn at me? It was me. You're missing it. What am I missing? Your Sunrise? favorite thing? Yes. No, I'm seeing them. Uh, some are shining over a mountain. Man, it looked nice. Uh, I caught it going through the tree, tree, uh, the pines and the pine tree. Yeah. Pine. Hello there, Dash. NS Dash, I mean. Thanks for subscribing. Morning, Carlos. Welcome to the stream. You've won the battle, but you haven't won the war. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Max Owner, have a great trip to your team. Awesome. Hey, Adam, welcome to the stream. Blitzkriegers, that's a new name. Yo, we are going to Thompson Falls right now. Oh, maybe we're just behind you because we uh, missed our turn. Yeah. Sorry, my fault. Stop sign. It happens. We all do it. Especially when we're uh, rubbernecking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. That's pretty up ahead. Turn right. Midway there, okay. That'd be easy enough. At least we can enjoy the scenery. GPS just randomly decided to talk to me. Game player 1821, welcome to the stream. We are delivering and about to deliver in Thompson Falls. Well, everyone else already is. I got delayed.
35. Uh, um, rest area. It just says I found a hidden road. Oh yeah, that's one of the hidden roads. Well, after I get deliver uh, deliver this thing, I'll reset the time. So we can do that during daylight. favorite spots they have here is either where Pilot Bow dropped, which is where I was at, or that first door just inside the gate where you got to get around that bobtail unit and not hit the dumpster on the other side. trailer so I didn't know how far to uh, oh, right. okay. yeah I can't tell how much clearance you got with the nose of that truck but cut her hard it ought to go in there now Straighten up and take her straight on back from there. I'll be right back while you guys are parking. You have arrived okay. at your destination. I'm over here. Over there in between the two trailers about the middle? Yep. Yeah, I hooked close to the fence, but now I hooked a new turn. Back yeah, I, what I should have done. It's not too late. That's all right.
I haven't looked to see where any of the hidden roads in this area are. I just know there's, it's rumored that there's a couple of them. Like I said, uh, it said something about I discovered a new passage. I didn't see it on the map when I looked. Speaking of that, anybody else get the uh, little plush thing for doing the Kalispell spell run the other day on the live stream? The goat? Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah, goat is sitting in my uh, W900. Yeah, I got my goat sitting right next to me. Yep, I got mine in the passenger seat, riding shotgun. All right, I got two more event points. I got them up to seven now. Nice. I left the uh, I left the Triceratops in my rocket pop. Uh, okay, let me catch up on some chats here. Diane is in the house. Hey, Diane. Welcome to the stream. Uh, game player. I miss not playing this game. That's a double negative. Uh, let's see, Adam, what do you think about log hauling? I think it's fine. It's like anything else. It's just another kind of load. Nah, I don't think it will. Then maybe six. Yeah, six is gonna have to and be. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna set the time, you might want to turn your fatigue off so it doesn't uh, mess with your clock. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, I don't even have since uh for exploring Montana for doing the Montana series of exploring and stuff like that. I haven't had my fatigue turned on. I turned it yeah. off just for just for that. Yeah, I turned it off for the live stream the other day and, well, forgot to turn it back on, so. Sean Claxon is in the house. He says, hello, how's everyone doing? And he also says, I wish there was a way I had money because you guys always do awesome. Well, thank you, Sean. Well, thank you. Uh, lot, uh, game players says, no bad weather. The Bobsta evening, people. This game is making me fat. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, XLT. Sorry, I got a couple more here. XLT is in the house. He says, hey, Boomer, watching you while I fly at 747 from Heathrow to JFK and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Nice. <laughs> Six and a half hour flight. Ah. Uh, Game player says, my PC won't play. It gets lag all the time. Well, that's no fun. All right, let's get this time set. You ready to turn your heads, folks? It's going to be a bright bang. flash of light. Three, two, one. It didn't go very far. I'll try it again. Here we go. There you go. We got 430. Uh, I got I six. Six a.m. Now. now. Yeah. I was looking at my TV. Okay, where's this mystery road? Is it it here to the left or straight ahead to you guys? I'm actually right on it, technically. Okay. I guess I'll leave the pack.
Let's see where this road goes. Yeah. I'm on route cam to get a little better view of everything. Me too. I just did. <laughs> Where are you going? Partial road here. I just, it's, oh. It's partial. So I just uh, unlocked it. I think this did it, so. Maybe not. I might go through the world on this one. I'm not, I'm not chancing that. <laughs> yeah, updating on my field. GPS slowly. It wasn't marking, so. Aha! It goes to the left. Oh, nice, nice little bridge here. Back up to me of these old station. This is, this is nice. Rough road. Rough road. Rough road. Yeah. Hey, Diane. Welcome to the stream. Hey Victor, welcome to the live stream. I see a question mark ahead. Is that a viewpoint? Uh, I'm not knowing. Just got a little damage. A little fast. I didn't think I was. It's easy. Uh, it's easy to do when you got the uh, bull bar bumper on the front of the KW. Oh, yeah. Hey, it is a viewpoint. Yep. looking at any of that, so I didn't know where they were. I mean, he didn't have it on the map. He didn't show the map location. He just had pictures of it. Oh, man. Pretty. Awesome views. Absolutely awesome views. Hey there, Jacob. Welcome to the live stream. I'm afraid I can't quite translate that. I can almost make it out. Get far and uh, lichen. Yeah, don't know what that means.
Oh, the dangerous route. Is this a dangerous route? Could be. Okay. Uh, yeah, could be very dangerous if you had a trailer on. Huh? Yeah, Diane yeah. says you will love the view. Hey there, truck life. Be careful with all those emotes. Your night bot's gonna get you. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my bots. You're good. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, there's a nice cabin up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the screenshots I remember seeing. Oh, yeah. I would like to spend about uh, three years living there. I was thinking the rest of my life. Better work too. Maybe, maybe something with a slightly better view, but that's a pretty good view. Oh well, there's a river down below to go fishing in. Plenty of hunting available, I'm sure. Adam, trucks do not need off-road tires. You just need to go slow. This is a nice uh, hidden route. I like this so far. Yeah, it's longer than most. Oh, here's another cabin up here. Hey, that looks like the cabin from the uh, Unabomber. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, kind of deters me from wanting to stay here for very long. It's too crowded. Yeah. Locked up just next door neighbor. What about that other road off to the right? Do you think that goes or is drivable? Man, this is a little scary. What does that say? Road closed. Probably not. I had a road, I had a sign that said road closed. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, I gotta stop. Man-made sign, so it might be, you know, like a deliverance kind of a thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I'm gonna get a... down below. Yeah, it's got to be some trout in there. Yes. Give me the will, it's just driving on this road. Atomic Baby, welcome to the stream. I hit my dip lock there. Yeah, I put mine on a little bit ago. I was moving along, and all at once I was no longer moving. XLT Gaming says someone ought to take one for the team and drive over the edge of the cliff, see what happens. Yeah. Isn't that what they always make the new guy do? Thanks for volunteering, pilot bro. <laughs> yeah, here we go, we got our volunteer. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Just give us enough warning that we can all get in dev mode and be looking down at it. Oh my. Oh, wow. Well, the Kemper Bridge chart.
What is... Hang on. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's Somebody... Right, I'm still busy checking out the scenery. I almost vaped on screen. Somebody <laughs> throwing coins in a jar? Yeah, like, like a chain dangling against glass. Huh. Sorry. Oh my gosh. You, you may have just What was that, oh, pilot you. bro? My son's eating lunch. He may have heard him clacking his bowl. Ah, that's it. I'll, I'll stay muted. Well, if you got something to say, say it. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop and read a couple of these comments because they're funny. So, uh, let's see, I gotta go back up and see. Oh, Victor Flins Flinsner completed his Cruising Montana event today. That's alright. Uh, congratulations. Cool. Um, Mount Chiliad? I'm not sure what that is. Is that what this is? Um, Mount Chiliad is a GTA. Yeah. Oh. Trucker King votes for Box as far as driving off the edge. Uh, Truck Life? I don't know what mod you're talking about. But Trucker King says I'd be pooping my pants in real life doing this. Yes! Exactly. And Chubby Wolf's in the house. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, this road is off of Thompson Falls, Montana. I believe it was by the uh, Selgood. Hey, F Games. Welcome to the stream. How's the weather over in Saudi Arabia? All right. All right, I'm moving forward. I'll bet it's hot. I think I just discovered the Unabomber's summer cabin. Yeah. And a mine. Hey, there's a stream right out there beside it, too. We got us another crazy bridge. Yeah, it don't look as questionable as the last one. No. Well, maybe. It's it's a little dicey too. You're definitely gonna want to make sure your tire doesn't get stuck in one of them holes.
Wow, look at that view. What a view indeed. Really? Wow. Hey, there's that scale I think we went by. Or a scale. There's a nice cabin. Or, well, maybe not that nice, but remote. Huh. Alright, moving out. Still a lot more road to ride, drive, too. You know, I've been on roads like this and um, vehicles that were designed for that. Never in a big truck like this. Yeah. Could someone actually get a trailer on a road like this? Uh, some people have tried and ended up in the news. Sorry, whether you made it or not, it would uh, probably wind up on the six o'clock news. Hey, up here. Welcome to the live stream. Wow, I'm taking all kinds of damage. lowered it. I certainly forgot that was even an option. Yeah. But I don't have anything mapped to do it with. I don't either. Me either. It's just not a thing in real life trucking. 
unless you're dropping the rear suspension to drop a trailer. Yeah, and there's a switch on the dash for dumping the airbags. Yep. All right. leads out too wow let me look at this on the map wow that is quite the drive that way 90. and we didn't even make it to that uh viewpoint <laughs> yeah i think it skipped that viewpoint yeah it... yeah we got close to it but we was on the wrong road to get to it all right we let me should, see how uh, much damage i got up and go back to the viewpoint ah. <laughs> Oh, I only got 2% damage. That ain't bad. There's a, there's a, let's see, where else is there? There's a road by. That was the one at Sell Goods. So Deep Grove has another one. And then, uh, you mean up by, uh, here by, and Smith. by Thompson Falls? Yeah. A company wow. called Deep Grove that has a secret road and Johnson and Smith. There's one by that. Wow. Okay. But well, those companies, I don't even see them. They're Thompson uh, Falls. A little ways out of town. It's up a. Oh, uh, Johnson Smith is oh back by the sell goods where we we're at. Is right. Johnson Smith. All right. I'm gonna see yeah. about getting a load out of here from one of those places. Johnson and Smith. I wouldn't wanna. That's a articulated. Nice trailer. Here's a mixed tank on a step deck. I've got an articulated hauler going to Missoula from Thompson Falls. That's at Johnson and Smith. <laughs> but it's an art. that's huge. But luckily we don't have to drive down that crazy road. But if we want to hit the other uh, hidden road. What about a backhoe loader on a flatbed? Going where? To Missoula. Also have a mixed tank. Well, I got the uh, mixed tank. I'm ready to book that. That goes to Missoula. Yep. All right, let's do that one then. Wow. Yeah, Jacob, it's a road for mountain goats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I'd want to take a day cab on that. Um, is an option for automatic Jake in the games? I think it's in the game. JJ, man, I've got the Jake break. Yeah, there is. You can automatic, but you can have your Jake break turn come on automatically, but that happens when you step on the brake. And then the Jake break comes on. And it is an option in the options. All right, moving out. Oh, turning off my differential lock. Did Wolf disappear? Yeah, he uh, did. he's on my map. Good idea. He's right behind me, moving. No, he's not. No, he's not. Right. Oh, he's on my map. No. Is he... Oh, he's disconnected. He Yep. Alright. I'm gonna start driving before he connects back up so you get ahead of him. Oh, is this the entrance into Montana? Oh! oh. <laughs> Did you guys collide? Have a very close encounter? I missed him. I missed him. Yeah, he came close. Oh, solar panel. Yeah, my internet faded for a second. It does that occasionally. Man, that was some great scenery on that road. Sure was.
Scale coming up. <laughs> Nick says his wolf's still on that Green. up internet. <laughs> well, Green. almost. It is cell phone technology based, but it's the best I can get out here on this uh, dirt road in the middle of nowhere. I got a green. I got a green. Okay, I'm picking up speed. It's a big rest area. Yes, That's, it is. That's what we see up on that road. Is that scale? Yes, it's, yeah. it's a scale. Ah. There is a yeah, uh, fuel point up there. Yeah, luckily right there by where we're going to be turning to pick the load up, there will be a fuel stop. I'll probably get some too. Because I'm that's getting the, a little moisture. That's the only drawback of the Freightliner is a small tank capacity. Yeah, and the new Western Star, that's basically a Freightliner with a nose job, it's got the same drawback. Plus the 12 speed in, uh, transmission and 600 horsepower max. Unless you're using the modded motors. I couldn't. I had my mods and. Mods gotta be updated before it'll do it. Uh, Sorry, bro. For what? I kinda cut you off there. When I oh. Said my answer. But you answered the question. And here's Boomer's favorite turnaround spot. <laughs> I just pull into the gas station, right? Yeah. What could go wrong? Yeah, I wasn't counting on that tailgating pickup truck. Yeah, he didn't even let you get clear of the intersection before he started across.
I don't know. I guess so. Didn't we... hear nothing out of you. Nope. Yeah, okay. It does have X's on that route. If you got your overlay up in the top left corner, you can see whether you're muted or not. Ah. Uh, yeah, I usually don't have that on. I should turn it on. Yeah. Pretty handy. That's yeah, very helpful. Very helpful in this situation. Hello, Lee. Welcome to the stream. A little road coming up that turns off to the right goes down to the deep grove. I'm going to continue on past this to the fuel station. Not like a plant. It'd be easier to get in and out there with no trailers than with the trailers. Coming around, coming in the back way to the fuel stop. Ah. Yeah, Adam, that was a real shortcut. Isaiah, we're in Thompson Falls. See you later, Trucker King. Do we want to run up and hit the viewpoint before we uh, grab the load? I'm thinking so. Huh. It would make the most sense. accepted the job, didn't you? I haven't. Been. Ah. Keep forgetting about that. I'm gonna take a uh, <sighs> quick break from behind the wheel. I'll be right back. All right. It says Thompson Falls, 18 wheels of steel heritage. Adam, I'm not sure what you mean by have I taken any shortcuts in my truck before. If you're referring to these hidden roads, yes, I've done a few. I don't necessarily consider them shortcuts. Uh, 
Uh, Lee, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Montana because we have the Rocky Mountains and the and the, what is it, the Bitterroot Mountains. And I think they are prettier than the Appalachians, even though the Appalachians is nice. But but the elevations are higher here in Montana. And, you know, the, the, the peaks are more scenic, in my opinion. That reminds me, I wonder if they uh, got the Twin Sisters in the Bitterroot Valley. I don't know. It's a set of uh, mountain peaks. Oh, dear. We drove right by him and I didn't see him. I actually got uh, pictures from my parents' yard uh, of the twin sisters. Finding new route. All this beautiful country, and you choose to live in Florida instead. Yeah. What the heck? I don't know if it was a choice. At least not originally. You want to view the viewpoint there? Were you, did you, were oh, you dragged? Oh, I that. Huh. Were you dragged there kicking and screaming? <laughs> well, we moved down here. It was 14, so I had oh. no choice. <laughs> okay. That I can understand, but... You stayed once you turned 18. Oh yeah, that's because I had roots set down. All my friends, family lived down here, and now they all, now my family's pretty much all moved out, either in Montana, back in Massachusetts, uh, <laughs> so, Massachusetts, because I can't say the other way. Right. Yeah, I know exactly what you're gonna say. Which uh, Trekker King got to learn yesterday or last night during Boomer's uh, stream what my alternate version of staying in Massachusetts is. Yeah, I know about that too. Yeah, it roughly oh. translates to mess of two poops. Yes, sir. But we have our clean version, which is Taxachusetts. Hey, look, I'm watching Boomer turn right. <laughs> Cherry is the name of a company in the town. Or the name of a store. Yeah. Uh-oh, got to wait for the train. Ah, cool. It will let me get it. I'm beside you there, Bucks. Nice. Looks like that road we went up while ago. Wolf, I'm right next to you. Yeah, I saw you pull up there before. Cut to another uh, scene. I believe Texas does have mountains in it, doesn't it, or is it all flat? They're hills. You have arrived at your Mole hills you compared to east. Hills, no mountains. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Lee, I completely agree. And I'm not very familiar with the Catskill Mountains. I, I've been through that area a little bit. Uh, the Finger Lakes area. Hey, there we can see Bucks driving through town. <laughs> that 
Country Corner. That sounds like a little cafe I wouldn't mind eating at. Yeah. Every Sunday Every morning. For the rest of my life. <laughs> the kind of a place you, after a little bit, you go in and they already know what you want. Yep, you walk in, they just start bringing you your coffee and your food. Hey, Boomer. When yeah. You leave, go out. Go out by that shack down there. Shack? Yeah, right in front of you. Oh. Maybe I should have not hooked this load yet. Uh, I don't think it's a very long one. You want me to search it out? Let you know. Sure. Looks like it's gonna be safe. Yeah, it's safe. You haven't that you've got on much of it. Oh, I already see the end of it. Oh. Does it have room to turn around? Yeah, it takes you out to two hundred. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh. yeah, Lee, the uh, Smoky Mountains are nice. And I've spent a fair amount of time driving through different parts of those mountain ranges, mostly in West Virginia. Yeah, Victor, we use the Discord to talk to one another. Remember uh, when we, when I was helping you with your um, force feedback stuff? We were using a video chat. That's what we do when we're convoying. to all of them to really explore them but I'm familiar with Missoula. I've been to Missoula a, a few times because uh, I have parents that live near Missoula in Montana. I actually flew out of Missoula, Missoula International Airport and flew into it, to it when I went to visit them a couple years ago. I'm going to step away for a couple of minutes. Right on. Now I know up up to the left is the deep growth place, and that I know there's another uh, hidden. I'll room. be right back.
I am back. Just in time. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. Oh. Thank you, Ipswich. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Boomer. Thank you. Nope, that was me. Oh, he's back too. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to go up to the left. There's another hidden road up there, or do we want to just continue uh, on? I, I, th I think we ought to continue on with our delivery at this point. Save that one for another day. You know what? I just noticed this delivery is only 77 miles. It's not going to count. Uh, was it less than 100 yeah. when I booked it? I'm getting ready to turn left. I don't know. I just I just noticed the the distance. Yeah, my bad. That's all right. I wanted to go down to Missoula anyway. Yeah, we'll get something else, I suppose. Although, uh, when we get down there, I'll check and see if there's any hidden roads for down there. Valley. What does? Billings. Montana. Oh. It's got a, it's got a, like a, a carnival type thing, and it's got a Ferris wheel, and it says it looks really cool lit up at night. Well, at the rate we're going, it's going to be dark when we get there. Well, we're not, we're not hitting uh, Billings on this one. <laughs> oh, we're not. No, we're going to Missoula. Oh, my bad. Well, maybe next ride. Yeah. If it's a hundred miles. <laughs> I'm sure there's something that'll be going past it that we could go through Billings. That's true. Yeah, I've been focusing on keeping it daylight just uh, to see it, be able to see everything. Yeah. I really check out for the night. Yeah, in single player, I made a couple of runs and didn't worry about the time on it. Just driving a little bit at night.
Taking it up to 65. Exiting right. Wolf disconnected again? Yeah, my internet's playing up again. I got the middle bay too. I'm going to back up and try and get set up to go pull straight in. No, it ain't going to work. I'm not seeing Pilot Rose trailer, so I'm giving him a little extra room. Got a, got a military load here. Boss's trailer now. I didn't even notice. Well, I could, uh, don't know if I could see yours earlier or not. I saw it in the mirror, but. Are you I... able to drive around it, Boomer? Drive around.
flag flapping in the breeze there up in front of this building. What's up, Stu's Gaming? Well, it's at 182 miles. Wonder. That says that's the base reward. Dri driven distance, 182. Nope, didn't get credit. Oh, because neither end. Have we already delivered in Missoula, haven't we? And Thompson Falls. So we didn't get credit anyway. Well, let's see what kind of load we got next. Possible possibility. We could go to Butte. See if we got anything going to, uh, where was that? Billings. I don't have anything. Oh, there's one. Yeah, this is a big articulated deal. Or we can take a load of machine parts in a in a container trailer. And Bux is muted. There he is. I've got some loads to uh, Billings. Pretty far, 420 miles. Yep, pick loads to the cities you haven't gotten that you need to uh, for the uh, the event. Yeah, well, Billings I have not been to in this profile. Oh, but I have in other. Now there's a viewpoint from. Do you got anything going to Kalispell? I know you've already been there, but. There's a viewpoint on the way to Kalispell. Um, from here? And I'm having to wait on uh, Pilot Bro. There we go. He's moving now. Let's see if there's anything. This one to Glendive. That's all the way across the state. Oh, yeah, that's got to be about 500 miles or so, 600 maybe. 570. Um, there's one to Sydney. That's probably like 700. 622. Let's see what I have. Well, I like this one. 46,000 pounds of flour. I do have dumpsters going to Kalispell from uh, 18 Wheels Garage. Yeah. I'd rather not. I'd ra I mean, I've already been to Kalispell. Yeah. You can pick that up. That's that... only 95. It doesn't count anyhow. It's only 95 miles. Well, we've already delivered in Kalispell. You've been to Butte. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I'll take Glendive. You've been to Helena. Yep, I'm taking Glendive right now. Coming that out of sounds good to me. Coming out of sell goods. Glendive 
as anything. Yeah, Victor, I think you're right. It would look good. Glendive or Sydney? Well, we're going to Glendive, which is almost to Sydney. Nope, nothing in Glendive. There are a couple of uh, hidden roads here in Missoula. Well, I'm going to be done after that anyway. So we're going to sell goods, which is not too far from here. Yes, yeah, there's about eight miles on my map. GPS route to it so you don't uh, have to worry about seeing who's ahead of you. Hey, Victor, I don't know if I'd want to use that mod that has smoke coming out of my stacks. That might be a drain on the uh, frames per second. Um, Nick, I believe this is Boomer's first World of Trucks event that he's doing. But um, I've done a few of them. I did part of one before. And we're going to make sure he completes this one. <laughs> Yeah, I know I completed the Colorado one myself, and I don't remember about the Wyoming one. I did both of those ones. I did one of, I did the Christmas one in 2020, but missed it in 2021, which stinks because I gave cool Christmas lights out for your uh, trailers. I did I, uh, the the uh, Thrustmaster thing, and I got a hanging doohickey for my win window. Yeah. I, uh, I, did that one also. Yeah, I think I've done that one as well. <laughs> of course, I do use Thrustmaster game controller, so...
Oh, I'm around the corner here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I got it back in. Coming back. Yeah, mine's right here. Oh, uh, I got a minor scorpion emergency. I got to step on it. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. What was that? I uh, had a dog spazzing out and there was a scorpion crawling across the living room floor about six feet behind me. I didn't know you had scorpions there. Uh, yes, we do. That's four in a week. Wow. Just one more of the uh, joys of living out in the sticks. Yeah. Well... You get one more scorpion and you get a free rattler. Uh, no, you can keep that. <laughs> yeah, I had a scorpion one time crawling across my uh, living room floor in uh, Laughlin, Nevada. Suckers get everywhere, like cockroaches. Yeah. Bucks, am I in your way? I don't know yet, actually. I can't see my spot. Uh, yeah, I'm right, back. right where you're at. Okay. I was about to pull out, but I seen that you're pulling forward, so I thought I'd... If I was in your way, I'd move. If not, I'd just stay tight for a little bit. Yeah, I just had no idea where I was going. Yeah, that little green uh, mark on the map isn't real clear. Just oh. gives you no idea. The icons thing changes it just to those white lines, makes it hard to see it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like real life. Green arrow, <laughs> green flag on the map doesn't really. Oh explain yeah. A lot. So should I be changing the time when we get all hooked up, or do we want to drive through Billings in the dark? Are we going through Billings? Yeah, on the freeway. Oh, might as well drive through it. See what the lighting looks like. I'll go ahead and pull up. I'll pull up next to Wolf. Yeah, I was going to say, I prefer to stay at the back of the line due to uh, connection issues. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Pilot, you're driving the Western Star. I am in a T680. Oh, I thought it was Western Star for a second there. Oh yes, T680. It's an awesome truck. Spent many, a year, spent many a years driving a T600 back in the day. Yeah? Yeah. Well, several different ones, actually. I, somehow I just kept getting lucky and that's what I was getting. I mean, granted, the first company I went to work for, that's what 90% of the fleet was. So that wasn't really luck. Getting a peak would have been luck. <laughs> yeah, when I uh, went out on the road with my trainer, uh, he had a P 386, which is a nice truck. Just don't like the narrow cab. Yeah, that's that. That's the impression I got from Pete's was the cab felt a little too confined, and the mirrors mounted to the doors, at least on the older ones. You know, you could cheat a little bit and open the door up and get a better view in your mirror by pointing yeah. it in the direction that you needed it to go. Yeah. But All right, if they you can roll. If, if the mirrors weren't really good and tight. 
every time you shut the door, you'd have to readjust it. Oh, yeah. Whereas on the KW, they actually mounted on the cab. And I might have to adjust my uh, Nightbot. Oh? Uh, I got, because when the channel's uh, chat is slow, the Nightbot is fine, but when it picks up in chat, then uh, it spams it a little too much. Hmm. So I gotta adjust that. Well, can you see my trailer? Yeah, I can see it. This time I can see everybody's trailer. Yeah, same here. I think that was just a fluke one that was caused by my momentary disconnection. Man, it's so much quieter inside the Freightliner than outside. <laughs> that holds true with any of the trucks. Yeah. Uh, that that res built is louder inside than it is outside. Oh, uh, I've never used it. Uh, gangsters asking, how can I get my friends and convoys if they don't have my mods? Well, there are some mods that are optional, and they added a new feature actually. Yeah, just ran that red light. You, there's a there's a filter you can set uh, optional mods, and everybody has to check that box in order to see the servers. And but that'll allow you to have the separate mods, but they have to be marked for uh, the new version. Right. The, yeah, those mods have to be enabled by the developer to be optional. So it's going to take time to roll that out. Yeah, the, the only other way to do it is disable the mods that they don't have, and then they can join. Yeah, and that's what we, we do. Some of us use right. uh, don't use uh, all the mods in their uh, offline driving that we use in the convoys. Like I don't use the icons one. Yeah, I typically disable that for my uh, single player mode. The bottom line is the host sets the tone for what mods are going to be used, but you need to probably just uh, you know talk in advance see which you know what what everyone likes some people are not going to be happy with the answer mm -hmm. you know, some people want to play only with mods and some people don't want to use any mods we try to we try to maintain as using mods that are only provide quality of life improvements to the to the gameplay for everybody yeah and for the most part we try to stick to uh, steam mod so that people can subscribe to it even if they don't want to use it in their single player profile they can just deactivate them and keep going <laughs> if nothing's coming, it doesn't count, right? Exactly. It's 3.30 in the morning. They really should come up with the double yellows or something. Yeah. Yeah. missing that bright headlights mod right now right I got used to it now yeah I feel like my lights aren't working at all the 
I said, I rarely had any issues with the default headlights uh, driving at night. I just was used to it. I can't yeah. see at night when I drive anyway, so it didn't matter to me. I just watched the lines on the road. All right, I'm taking it up to 65. Going to lock in the cruise control. I got a car in front of me. Uh, doesn't know what he wants to do. Glenn Summers asks me, uh, did I ever go to Rifle Co Whoa, see, that's why I don't try to read these. Rifle okay. Colorado when you were over the road in real life. Yes, but I never went into town. I just drove through on the freeway, but I did actually get off on the main exit where the Walmart is, and I've spent the night at that Walmart a couple of times, at least a couple of times. So, Boomer, this car that, that's behind you switched lanes no less than 10 times, at least so far. So I guess I can expect him to do that when he passes me? Uh, no, he's not bothering to pass. He just keeps switching to the left. Oh, it's not... Back to the right. Not the one that just went by me? Nope. He's still behind you. Look out here for a few minutes. You get to watch him go to left. Go yeah. Back right. I see him. <laughs> over in the left lane. Good thing we stayed in the right. Did I hit a car? Um, yes, you did. There's such. Oh, he looked far enough back. Yeah. Now I, I have a car literally switching lanes every couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah that ah. white car. It was all right while he was uh, going to speed, but then he decided to slow down. Yeah, I know, Nick. I thought I didn't. I thought I had the room when I looked into my mirror. At least the car's signaling every time it changes lanes. Yeah. And thankfully, he's taking the exit. Finally, he said, uh, "I'm tired of switch lanes." Swapping, so I'm gonna get out of here. Yep, he's like, I'm out of here. I mean, he did it at least 20 times in front of me before he started slowing down. I saw what looked like at least 10 or 15 times while he was between you and Pilot. Jeez. Oh, I think he was going for the lane swapping record. I want to get in the Guinness Book of World Records for AI uh, lane swapping. <laughs> I think from now on on live streams we should do World of Truck Contracts. That gives you a 65 mile per hour limit that we run and we don't have to worry about being late for a job that's a good point oh it's getting daylight already <laughs> we're probably going to pass it's through billings like, during the day you know it's funny when I was in Montana it literally wasn't getting granted I was there in the summer but it literally wasn't getting dark until 10 o'clock at night yep when you live in the far north, that's what happens. 
and even at this time, like it's it's 12:38 uh, in the morning. Well, it says 12:30 p.m., but it should say 12:30. Oh, that's no, no, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm looking at right. the wrong clock. But yeah, it was crazy. I was like, wow. I thought it was bad down here, where you know, nine o'clock. But actually, no. I think it was closer to 11. It was just like dusk. The farther north you get, the more pronounced that is. Yeah, especially the uh, higher up in the elevations. Yeah. The elevation it has more to do with it. All right, we're climbing up, and then we're gonna have a steep downgrade on the other side. Yeah, it's too bad they don't have uh, uh, Columbus modeled on the map here. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's the town that I uh, spent a couple, three days out because of the uh, snowstorm. I mean, you know, it was late February or early March. So traffic snowstorm right lane. Right lane. Yeah. Snowstorm in Montana at that time of year, what a surprise, you know? Yeah. I made it up this hill just fine, but I was hearing on the CB about how bad it was up ahead, and it's like, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull off where I got a place to park for the night. And within about 10 or 15 minutes of me parking, I heard they shut the highway both directions. Front row. Uh oh. What happened? Sideswiped somebody because they drifted into their lane. Nope. Yeah. But they kept on going, so you're okay. Probably didn't have insurance. Uh. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get a ticket or something. 
because he didn't stop, I think. Because <laughs> he didn't have insurance. <laughs> See, the AI even goes insuranceless, but you know what? If you're driving in real life, make sure you have vehicle insurance on your vehicle. Certainly. It's not worth the risk of getting caught without it. Nope, that's actually an instant jail if the cop wants because they can arrest you for what's called financial responsibility. I know from experience. So now there's some in Florida. <laughs> Even though I had insurance, I had switched insurance companies. Got pulled over. Cop took me to jail. I don't Even believe that's I the kind of thing you should be facing arrest for unless you've yeah, got a history of it. Nope. Or driving nope. without a license. Nope, first time. Cop, I guess, wanted to take somebody to jail that night, and I was, I was his huckleberry. Uh, some states do have some pretty stiff laws about driving with no insurance. Here in Matter Oklahoma, fact. they have the uh, option to have the car impounded on the spot, and then they also have the option of whether you go to jail or you walk on. Now, when I, the guy ran the red light and hit me head on, he didn't have insurance, and you know what? I, the cop that was on the scene, though, was a rookie. Didn't take him to jail. Never even questioned him about his insurance. Hmm. That made me mad because of the time I got arrested for it, which was crap. Yeah. I had insurance. I just had switched insurance yeah. companies. And their computer said, well, I didn't have insurance. He goes, so I have to go by my, my computer. He says, I don't care if you got a brand new car that shows that you're in, insured during the current dates. <laughs> like, dang. Yeah, that's kind of being a little too strict because that uh, little piece of paper is what you're supposed to carry to prove that you have insurance. Mm -hmm. And, but I, I mean, the only good thing he did he did was is he didn't impound my vehicle. He parked it in a in a parking lot. He actually parked it for you know, he, he confiscated my plate. You know, almost comical story. The little red car that I used for my profile pic. I bought that at an impound auction because of, uh, I had Texas plates on it. Didn't have a Texas registration or safety inspection on the windshield. And the guy driving it didn't have a driver's license, no proof of insurance, couldn't even prove he owned the car, so the cop's like, well, if you can't follow even one of the basic laws for getting a car on the road, you can walk. And they never went and picked it up from the impound. So I paid $500 for it, and I've had it now uh, 17, almost 18 years. Wow. Oh, nice. I was doing some sightseeing up ahead of me there, pilot. Yeah, they started moving right when I got up to them, so they didn't have to stop, thankfully. it for that. But... Rolling into Laurel.
scale. Got a green. Don't wear in me, Bucks. Oh, I couldn't hit you if I wanted to. <laughs> you showed up on my map, running right up into me. No, no, I am catching up on you now, though. You must have slowed down. I got a green. I light. did. I got a red. I slowed down because That's the car in front of me slowed down, uh, and I was afraid wait. somebody would get called in. And Wolf did. And he's the twenty-five percenter. Yeah, that's twice now. Well, on Thursday I made a comment about being all around the state, kept getting bypasses. houses. So, it, I'm due. All right, I'm cruising at 50. I'm out of the scale, or off the scale, and back, getting back up to speed. No, I did. I think I got to like all 12 of the uh, the event cities, and then I think my 13th city is when I finally got hit by a weight uh, a weight scale. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Got a semi up here doing the weave. He was considering doing a weave. All right, I'm going to pick up to sixty. it at 60 until you get caught up wolf okay yeah I can, I can see y'all up there but I'm behind a little bit of slow traffic what are they gonna do when I'm sitting the brakes just have to slow down and think does it, it was up their exit or not yeah did it in both lanes. Slowed down to a crawl, two of them kept going, one got off. lane to the left lane back to the right lane and then take the exit to the right what so you're reading comments how could you tell he's all over the place yep <laughs> that's how you well that's his normal that's his normal state anyways All right, I'm gonna pick it up to 60. I thought you were at 60. Or 65, I mean.
Edwin, welcome to the live stream. The answer to your question is that is not a mod, that is a function of convoy. When you're driving solo and you hit the map button, it just pauses the game and goes into the map. You can't do that in convoy. So the way that they address that is that when you hit the map button, you get a little overlay. Oh, this car just drove. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. So that only works in uh, convoy mode. Uh, so car stop right lane low. Car is going freakazoid. It went into the oncoming traffic lane, went kind of underground, and then just stopped right in front of me. Wow. I'd take to the emergency lane, but I got around it all, no problem. Pilot, I'll back out if you want to go ahead and jump back up in front of me. Alright. That was crazy. Are you back there dancing with cars? Scale coming up. Oh, you got... Now you got a car behind you doing the uh, wishy washy lane swapping. Scale is closed. Oh, they got chickens loose on scale and entries denied. <laughs> oh, this is one of those ones where they bring the portable scale out, I think. Okay, you're clear about uh, pilot. Thank you. We're coming up on Miles City shortly. Nope. That happened to Billings. Uh, that's a cool thing that they had out here to tell you you're coming to the city. Edwin, it works the same way in uh, Euro Truck Simulator as well. Same overlay, say, uh, map overlay. Adam, we took I-90 all the way to Billings. And then I-90 heads south to Sheridan, Wyoming. So we're actually on I-94 now. That's dirty water. Yes, it is. Yeah, that overlay also works on the uh, same way in tru on Trucker's MP if you uh, play that. Oh, that's a cool hill right there on the left that you're coming up on. Oh yeah, with the horse rider up there? Yeah, it's a weird shaped hill. I just know after you said that, I noticed the horse rider on top. <laughs> <laughs> statue of miles. Could be. I have to do a dev sometime over there. Go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, sorry chat for the night bot spam. Hey Trucker Games, welcome to the screen. Uh, Adam, I-90 in real in real life, they it's the same as it is in the game. I-90 runs from uh, Idaho to Billings and then heads south to Wyoming. I-94 starts at Billings and heads to North Dakota. So they've mimicked it the same way it is in real life.
Yellowstone River. Hey, Trucker Games. They kept hey, going, though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I saw your trailer bouncing from way back here. I, like you drove, I, I hit him, and then he just drove under my truck and said, I'm not stopping, I'm going. I didn't get a fine, but I did get trailer damage or truck damage. Hey, Trucker Games, out. How are you this afternoon? We are almost there. I don't know if you noticed, but they've uh, been putting a lot of animals in, in uh, Montana. A lot more cows than like you'd see seen in the other states. And horses. And horses. And they're moving. Yep. Goats. They added more deer. In one of the cities I drove through, I saw people walking dogs on the side of the road, too. Really? I haven't seen that. Yeah, and I, I've seen the dogs, too. I haven't seen them walking them, but I have seen dogs. You mean almost got scammed by a recruiter there, Trucker Games? Talking about a trucking company recruiter? All right, exit's coming up. Maybach. I can't say I've heard of them. That's the second time I've heard of them in the uh, this past week. Yeah, I think Kirk Pam mentioned it in Whoops. the chat and Discord. He was asking about it if I remember. Maybe that's why. Exiting right. Makoshika State Park. Wow. It sounded like a mouthful. Yeah, it sounds like I tore, I, I destroyed it too. Yeah, he says he posted it in Discord to warn everybody about him. Guess I did see that. Of course, I have been working the last couple of days, so I haven't really seen a lot on Discord. Looks like I'm in this first dock. Yep, dock one. One down to far end? No, the one closest. Ah. I got a little red flag down there. Looks like it's out of the parking lot. Uh, it looks like I'm on the other side of that flag. Got a little trailer, so in the middle.
looks like I'm gonna get by with just one pull up today. That's a nice change of pace. Well, you know, like the old saying goes sometimes you're the boat, sometimes you're the windshield. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Money, 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 money. Experience. Went up a level. Ah, let's do the high value cargo. One more. All right, let's do this from the inside since it's going to be an easy one. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're almost straight and on with it. <clears throat> I actually can't see. Oops, going the wrong way. Going to go play in the weeds over there? Definitely got to put it in the race gear to back up, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna scoot past your nose there, Bucks. I'm hoping I'll be out of everyone's way over there. I'm going right down there by the fence. Up the oh. This front building. There we go. Um, probably not, Nick. I thought about it, but I am getting hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. I gotta, I gotta call it. I, I'm already at least a half an hour past what I thought I might. Oh wow, Man. we have been on here for over two and a half hours. Yep. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, no more almost nine hours stream for me for a while. <laughs> I did almost five hours that I done the other day it was a record for me. And I'm surprised my internet held it that, that long. Yeah, you were, you were solid. Yeah. I can kind of understand it today being a weekend. Uh, there is a little more traffic on the, on the web. Well, Adam, we just drew, we're in Eastern Montana, so it looks like this. You're I'm good. We, we can't get much farther east than this. Yes, I'm good. Go ahead. Okay. In fact, the interstate uh, doesn't go the past edge, this. Oh, yeah, just to the north of here. Oh, yeah. It's right there. So, on the but, but, but the freeway ends where we got off. So, what we see right now, for those of you watching my stream, that's looking east. Or wait, is that yes. It's actually northeast. Or north yeah. That we can't drive on that until they give us North Dakota. So this is what eastern Montana looks like. So basically when we when we headed east on I ninety four from Billings, that's eastern Montana. Hey, Boomer, go on, yeah. the, on the other side of the sell goods. You see the, the business there? Not not the road side, but the uh, fence side with the uh, field. Hold on, I got to come back. What am I looking for? <laughs> Glen Dive Dinosaur and Fossil Museum. Oh. We got a T-Rex coming out the wall. Yeah, there's some dinosaurs out there, and I'm not sure what all of them are. <sighs> Cool. Are there some elsewhere? There's a picture I had got, but I don't know exactly where that was. That wasn't here. Huh. Huh. Um... Good angle on this. 
Should see a lot of references. I believe Montana has a lot of dinosaur uh, fossils. Yeah. So does Wyoming and uh, northern Colorado. In fact, there's a town in northwestern Colorado called Dinosaur. It's it's actually represented, sort of, in the game. It's just a village. Yes, oh, JJ, yeah. man, I am looking there. forward to the Dakotas as well. I'm looking forward to every new map they, they'll ever think about putting out. Mm -hmm. I'll see Mount Rushmore. Yes. You know, there's some speculation that uh, they might release, like, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska as a multi-state pack. And I'm wondering if that's what they're going to do with the Dakotas more than anything uh, else. Yeah, well, that would I, make I sense. I assume that they're going to release them as a pack. That makes sense to me. Because there's really not that much to see in the Dakotas except for uh, Mount Rushmore and just... Well, there's there's um, kinda like the Badlands. Yeah, all you see is corn. <laughs> yeah. But in, yeah. in western South Dakota, you got the Badlands. Well, there's a Motley crew. Yeah, right? Ain't it, though? Hey, pilot bro. You getting rain over there? Oh, yeah, he's got his wipers on. Yeah, I noticed that when he was parking. No. Your wipers are on. He's got his passive wipers on, that's why. Well, they shouldn't really? be on. Really? It was doing that on with me and you the other day. Yes, Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota. That's cool. I'd stop there and taking pictures. No, Pilot Bro's not streaming, right, Pilot Bro? No. Because you're not a streamer? Or do you? No, I haven't gotten into streaming yet. It's a thought, but not something I've done. Okay. Well, I'm ready to call it. Oh, I need a break. Mm -hmm. Food. Food. Yes. Holly bro, thank you for joining us today. Thank yeah. Thank you so much for the invite, guys. It was fun. Well, glad you enjoyed it, and... We'll have to have you back sometime. And in the meantime, to everybody that's been watching, I want to say once again, thanks. For the, I know there's a lot of other things you could have been doing on a Sunday afternoon, but thank you for joining us and keeping us company while we were hopefully enter entertaining you. <clears throat> All right. And y'all have a good day. I'm the Bucks. I'm going to be getting out of here. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to any or all of us, please do so. Uh, I believe I have links. Actually, I have links to people that aren't even in this convoy in my description. <laughs> but it should have a link to Boomer's Discord in yeah. the description as well. Join us there. We do this kind of thing uh, just about every day on the Discord, and you never know who you're going to run into. That's a fact. That's right. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And I.